Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here to bring you my comic book haul for this week. I just got back from one of my shops and picked up a couple of books. Uh, I also picked up a Marvel Select figure. And yeah, I also just got done watching the new Batman Superman trailer and it looks freaking amazing. I cannot wait for that movie to come out. And also got done watching the Suicide Squad trailer too and it looks pretty badass too and it looks like Jared Leto is gonna kill it as the Joker uh, it looked pretty awesome those are two movies that I cannot wait to watch especially since I gravitate towards DC more than Marvel for the most part so yeah cannot wait for those two movies to hit you know theaters next year so let's get started with this haul and I went to the Disney store uh, <clears throat> Disney store to Look at some of the Marvel Select figures because they have a lot of their, you know, exclusives there. Like all their figures, they're only available at the Disney store. And one that was supposed to be coming out soon was the Ant-Man one. And I went there to see if they had it, but they didn't have it. But instead, they got something better, in my opinion. And that is the Hulkbuster. And this thing looks pretty badass. And... You know, it goes for twenty four ninety five. I know online, it there's a few on eBay going for quite a lot there. I don't know why, because you can always go to the DisneyStore.com and get them there. If you don't have a Disney store close by you, you can always go there and, you know, get it for, you know, regular price instead of having to pay stupid prices on eBay. But And they were also having a... 25% off sale on everything Marvel, all toys, clothes, costumes, and whatnot. So I got it for $19.99 around that price range. So that was pretty cool. And this figure just looks insane. So now let's get to the comic books. And this week was, I picked up here quite a few uh, books. A few of the Secret Wars tie ins, like two of them that were on the top of my list since you know they were announced and here's one of them Age of Apocalypse cannot wait to read this and then I picked up Civil War and this is the Newberry Comics exclusive variant they've been getting a lot of exclusive variants there just for that store as of late so yeah, those two, Civil War and Age of Apocalypse, were like the two times that I wanted the most when they announced like everything. Because there's a crap load of times and most of them are not very good. And I picked up uh, Star Wars Lando number one. And again, this is another Newberry exclusive variant. Looks pretty cool. This is a, I, I think this is a mini series, if I'm not mistaken. And another Newberry Comics exclusive uh, variant, the Star Trek Green Lantern crossover. So I just picked it up. I don't know if I'm gonna keep uh, buying this book, but I just picked it up because of the variant. Looks pretty cool. I love Green Lantern, but I'm not a Star Trek fan. I mean, I enjoyed the last two movies that came out, but like the original shows and the original movies, I could never get into it. I thought it, they were boring, but that was that's just me. Spawn 253. Now we got here some DC titles. We got Section 8, which... This is written by Garth Ennis, I believe. Yep. <clears throat> and the first issue was really, really good. It surprised me how good it was. Um, it was really funny. Had really good humor to it. I will totally recommend this issue. I mean, this series of books. And this is oh, uh, this is a mini series also. It says two of six. So yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we got Justice League of America number two. I thought the first issue was just okay, 
like the the Justice League book it's really good but this one was I don't know I might drop this after maybe this one or the next one if if it doesn't pick up I got Rebels number four from Dark Horse this is really good too and this is a mini series as well I believe is this one is four of six too and the last book that I picked up of course Batman number 42 and I couldn't wait to read this so I read it in my car once I got there uh, the it had a pretty weird ending um, I'm not gonna say that I like or hate the ending yet but it's it, it was a bit of a shocker there but I think I'm, I'll have a better opinion of it once you know maybe the next issue comes out so yeah guys this was my comic haul for this week hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching